Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Case again. I'm here with the day 13 reading for uh, my fourth graders. Um, and today our reading is going to be a poem that's called I Practiced. You'll have three multiple choice questions, one short answer, and then you guys will have three, dis dis ah, three discussion questions. Alright, with that being said, let's dive right into the poem. The poem is called I Practiced by John Arno Lawson, written in 2008, <clears throat> starting the first stanza. I practiced in the shower, I practiced in the car, I practiced in the downtown karaoke sushi bar. I practiced in the basement, I practiced in my head, I practiced on my bicycle, I practiced in my bed. But the fact is, though I act as if I practice all the time, it still seems I'm either stuck before or getting past my prime. I practice in the darkness. I practice while I read. I practice full of confidence. I practice full of dread. I practice for the living. I practice for the dead. Maybe I practiced when I should have just been doing it instead. Okay, let's get to the questions. So part A, or number one, which sentence describes the theme of the poem? A, sometimes taking a lot of time to practice prevents you from discovering and trying something new. B, with enough practice, anyone can master anything. C, it's good to take breaks from practicing even when you're learning a new skill. Or D, people are inspired to try something new because they're they fear failure. All right, number two, part B. Which detail from the text best supports the answer to part A or number one? A, I practice in a downtown karaoke sushi bar. B, though I act as if I practice all the time. C, I practice full of confidence, I practice full of dread, or D, maybe I practiced when I should have just been doing it. Okay. Number three, what does stanza three reveal about the speaker? So, well, most of my students, I marked right where stanza three is. What does stanza three reveal about the speaker? A, the speaker doesn't think they are improving. B, the speaker is thinking about giving up on practicing. C. The speaker is afraid to take the next step. Or D. The speaker only pretends to practice. Okay. And then number four is a short answer. Why does the poet repeat the word practice over and over again? So you gotta go back to the poem there and just try to think why are they using this word over? What What is the point that the author is trying to get across by using this word repetitively? Okay. So that's the multiple choice and the short answers, and you got three discussion questions. So remember, your discussion questions are really opinionated, so there's no right or wrong answer. I just want to see effort. I just want to see your input. So number one says, think of an activity or skill that you have practiced a lot. Why do you practice it? Why do you think becoming perfect at a skill should be the goal of practice? Why or why not? Number two, do you think practicing a lot makes you successful? Why doesn't the speaker succeed at the skill even though they practice all the time? And number three, in the poem, the speaker describes practicing a new skill but not doing it. How do you think fear could stop someone from trying a new skill or activity? All right, guys, I hope you found the video helpful. Um, obviously, if you have any questions for me, you know, just shoot me an email, a text, or give me a call. Um, I'll be more than happy to help. I'm, all, I'm here for you guys. I want to make sure we continue learning, keep moving forward. We're all in this together. All right? So if there's anything you guys need, please contact me. And besides that, I hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.